Hey. Hey, buddy. Oh, hold on. Maybe show my last speed. What? I'm watching the last episode oh, of hey, Stargate. Hey. Oh, uh, I was going to tell you that um, I'm recording a, a war right now. So this will be on YouTube uh, within so many days. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, just what, let you know. What do you mean? Like, on... What I'm bringing? Uh, Battle Brothers War. So it's me with this one particular house that has a, a bull, at, you know, for their emblem, and uh, white and black against uh, a team of uh, green and yellow with a dragon. Uh, I can't remember the house names right now, but it's a it's a 36 man war against another 36 men, and I've got about uh, 15 men online, or, or are you just playing? It's it's somebody. it's one of the hardest uh, battles you can do in a game, um, and uh, it it okay. involve, it involves two armies against the, against each other. But you only you only you can only control about half the army, and the oh. rest of the half has is AI versus all, you know, another enemy AI battle. So it's uh, is it kind of like uh, the old fashioned army men where you you can like select different units and. Something like that. I'll have to send you the video after it's done. But um, uh, basically, you've got you got a lot of guys. You got bannermen, you got polearm men, you've got frontline swordsmen. Uh, you can have a hammer. Yeah, so you can, all medieval like arm men. Yeah, kind of kind of like medieval medieval army, yeah. medieval army men and stuff. And uh, you get that would be such a cool idea. What? You'd buy that. Instead of army men, you make like medieval knight army men, like little plastic figurines of medieval. Like I would buy that if I saw that like in a cheap store or something, you know, like two fifty or something for a little packet of like thirty people or something. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? Like they're all dude. Like, like 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 a knight, like a a king. You know what I mean? Like almost like a chess set, kind of. Mm -hmm. Like a rook, a port, a horse. I don't know why they never invented that. They made so many different kinds of army men. Yeah, but a medieval um, one sounds like such a cool idea. If I could tell you what happened right now, um, some people got netted, so they got thrown. You know the bolos with the big nets that would stretch out and like capture you. Some of the knights got netted right now, so they have to actually try to free themselves. Uh, but there's some knights in the front with uh, claymores or two-handed swords. You know, man, man side sword, and they can hit the per person. <laughs> Right in front of them and the person behind them too, so I got to be careful of these Vayhander guys, because uh, you know, they can be quite powerful. And and the damage you do to another man is based upon the strength of the weapon, not not you. I mean, you you do what you do because of your own agility and stuff, so you kind of evade if you can. But if you get hit with his with a two-handed claymore or a giant billhook, giant pole hook, I mean, you can get messed up, dude. It's uh, so you gotta be careful. Like it's, how you... it's it's like fair. It's not like Call of Duty core mode. It's like fair where you, you know somebody hits you, you you can get hurt. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. It can be yeah, cool. cool. It can be quite devastating in some perspectives. Um, well, it's probably still cutting downstairs. <laughs> there there is a little bit of magic involved in some of it too. Uh, but you don't get to do the magic. You just have to fight against the magic users. So it's really just kind of like physical brawl. 
uh, for you, and then you're, mm. you're, you're kind of out of luck if you want to use the magic and stuff, because they've got Hexen that can do magic, they've got uh, uh, Undead that appear sometimes, you know, uh, different things like that. It's a pretty cool game, though. Um, but Sounds the war, cool. The, the war right here is really, really difficult to get out alive. Uh, one time, I've actually done it where I did, where I killed off the entire enemy squad. And I didn't lose anybody. And uh, wow. it, it's it's really rare because as soon as you get the enemy, like you're, let's say you're in a real war, right? You get the enemy down to like a quarter of the army, everybody's going to retreat, right? You're not going to sit there and let them kill you. So everybody's running away. But <laughs> I put people in such a position so they could like come around and flank them. And I let loose some dogs. So if you get a dog, you can you can leash a dog, and you can unleash the dog in battle like a war dog. And it'll go and distract them and, you know, you know hold them down for a while. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised you haven't uh, heard of this. It's uh, it's it's pretty fun. It's re it's, Is it app, it's app or, or PlayStation. Uh, it's a, well, I have it on a Steam game. I think they're bringing. I think they brought out the Switch. That's what. But I don't know if they did. Because I never. Uh, used that. They they might have done something for for a phone, I guess, but. I'm not sure. Right now we're just uh, out of the time we've been talking. Like, we were at 36, 36, and now we're at 35, 35. So one guy died on each side. And everybody's defending with shields and all kinds of stuff. Well, I uh, assume once it once it starts to take its toll, it stays, you know, pretty. Like it, like it, it can get exponential. You know what I mean? Like. Mm-hmm. If all, yeah, of a, they, if all of a sudden it starts to hit like 30, 30 to 40, you'd think like the 40 is just going to start power playing a little bit more and they can drop down to like 25 to 40 to 20 to 40, you know, or 20 to 38. Yeah, and, and the game has a lot like, to do with morale too. So if you're, if you're getting bad morale because you're getting surrounded, you'll start to wave a white flag. Get a full white flag, it means your guy's going to run and you can't control it because he's just scared shitless now. You know, and uh, same goes for the enemy too. So if you get really good, you give confidence to your guys. You get a little blue flag, and it gives you like plus ten percent uh, to hit and to evade. So it like, well, it's just it's just interesting, like how nowadays we play more games where we're always the leader. Mm -hmm. You know, like like you wouldn't even like TV shows. They typically you tend to see like the important people of the show. Mm -hmm. It's never like a TV show about like the unimportant, <laughs> like the people who are uneventful. Like the Seinfeld tried to do it, you know, mm -hmm. but it's like um, it's the same thing. Like you never be like, oh, orders up top are this, and you're like, oh, that that's a dumb move. It's like listen to your commander. It's like, okay, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. I'm gonna get killed doing this, but I have to follow the commands of the command. Like, it wouldn't, you know what I mean? People would be like, oh, well, that, you know what I mean? Like, it's just weird to think about how, like, but that's how the average person is. The average person just has to follow the command. Mm -hmm. It would, you know, things wouldn't work out if some people didn't know they were pretty much gonna have to go die in war back then, you know? Like, we don't even really experience war like that anymore. Yeah, we really don't. It's such a... It's such a foreign concept, you know? That, like, the thing is, like, a lot of people nowadays... We, we enjoy playing this, and this is a really a good teaching tool in a lot of ways. And I'm not saying, like, war is amazing or anything like that, but strategy and all that, understanding what happens in war, it really lets you know, like, your life could be over within, like, two minutes as soon as you get to war. Wars, battles... You know, just like any kind of like uh, physical assault where you're attacking, defending, whatever, be over within minutes or seconds, you know. And uh, it, it's something I think the, this generation doesn't really fully respect. Because, I mean, look at what happened with Afghanistan when, when, when they pulled out with all that. Like, it wasn't talked about to, to the point that it's like all that time and effort and everything that was done with that. It's just kind of forgotten in the blink of an eye, you know. Whereas yeah, I don't quite understand how 
I'm just, I mean, I'm, the, besides this the is strange though. You know, besides the politics on it, it's just like, if we were living back in this time all the time, you were a man, you were expected to just, you know, live with honor and all that, but the fact is the, the fear of death was real, especially with a lot of men, because you could be uh, pushed out to some holy crusade or something like that, or some, you know, noble war, and God, you know, Godspeed. Hopefully you'll, you'll survive it, you know, because, you know, you might have a wife and a child at home, but, well, you could die today, you know, just because... <coughs> This is society, you know, and and, and the fact well, that war is mean, being... That's why the family name was so important because you had this idea that it was just like, keep my name, you know, like it's the only thing I'm going to have left when I have to go out and die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like my own son will have my name, carry me on. You know, yeah, that was it... the whole point is try to get before you go out and like <laughs> have to die. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's uh it's a it's a very surreal thing. It's also kind of sad in a way too, you know. Yeah, because uh, like every thirty or forty years, there was always like, you know, some kind of like conflict of of some kind of land or or quarrels between things that you had to either deal with it or you know, I mean, like that's it's crazy to think about. Like, mm -hmm. like people have dealt with so much to get to this point, and. I don't even know. I mean, was was it like that in the United States, though? You know what I mean? Like, well, I mean, you think I about guess. It. I mean, it it probably would have been though, because you think, all right, if the United States never ceased to be and never pushed out Britain, France would have probably stayed better claim to the other half. Mm -hmm. In which case, you know. You would have had France and Britain, and then constant, like, you just, I mean, who knows? We would have probably had, like, civil wars up until forever. Yeah. Like, France and Britain, France and Britain, like, taken up, and then, you know, probably other countries would have came over there and formed walls and stuff, and been like, we're claiming this part, you know? Oh, little Germany has existed in this area, and, like, they're pushing their foothold, and, like, you know, Britain doesn't even really care anymore because it's like that area is a shit land anyway. And then it's like, you know, oh, 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 now like some people are starting up north and where the main area is, is they're, they're starting to like the Norwegians are coming over there and stuff, laying claim to it, calling it, you know, Svenway or Svenway or something <laughs> like yeah. a new, new country tip. And it's just yeah. like, this it like would have all... just been a mess. I mean, the United States claiming all of it just kind of stopped it all. It stopped all the claiming. It's like, how much more are you going to claim, United States? And it's like, now you're pushing into, like, Mexico. Because, I mean, that's what I mean. If the United States expanded faster, we would have taken over all of Mexico, too. Mexico didn't exist back then. But the Battle of Alamo happened, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, Mexico didn't have any independence. Look, Dominican Republic got their independence way, like, later than all of that. There was, there was, like, founded in, like, 1600s or something, 16, you know, so it was a little bit earlier than the United States. But, like, for the most part, so I was even saying that to my wife today, I was like, I was like, you know, they take the word pilgrims and make it like it was some kind of unique thing to American people. But a pilgrim was just like anybody who migrated over to another land and like another town over. You're a pilgrim. You just kind of go to the next place. It wasn't really like intended to be like the pilgrims. Yeah, that's why the, that's why the, that's why the term comes from Audi, Audi pilgrim. You know? Yeah, it's so, it's so weird anymore. Like... The way that they've created like this ideology of American like lifestyle, you know, it, none of that was America back then. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like we cared more about what wasn't America in history than American history. Hmm. And like they don't really even talk about the whole idea of like why George Washington decided who George Washington grew up. In the United States, he wasn't like a 
oh, I came over on the Mayflower and didn't like the way things were. He was born third generation. His dad was born over here. It was the third generation in of him seeing Britain, who wasn't that strong of a military, who wasn't doing anything for the people, still wanting to take taxes and stuff, like thinking that they had a claim to the land. And it's like, this isn't even your land. Like, what claim do you have? Hmm. And, and and the whole concept of claiming, look at, look at China. They want to take on Taiwan because they feel they have a claim to it. Why? Because in history, you once called it China. Before China even existed, it wasn't China. So why in history do you only... If you go back to the time of Taiwan, you're really basically saying that Germany should own all of, of everything in the Europe. Because at one point in time, they did. Like, what are you talking about? Taiwan wanted their freedom away from some communistic government. They made their own government. They made their own laws. That's that's the way it is. There's no like claim to anything anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's almost the same thing in the United States. If some group of the United States bands together and there's everybody in there agrees and they're like, we don't want to be a part of the United States anymore and we want to take this land, is the United States going to like, I mean, they could at that point defend their land and be like, no, we're not allowing that, you know, yeah. but like if it happens in the past and it's happened in the past, it's happened. It, like, why are you going back in the past? Why does everybody want to go back in the past? Honoring all the Indians that were over here. But what about the people that were here before the Indians? We just don't we just don't worry about them. That's too long ago. We don't have any history of them. So I guess that's, that's you know, forget it. I mean, I don't even understand it anymore. When you go back in the past of land, like, what? Yeah, I, I don't it get it. the Native Americans back then long ago, really. I don't really know what uh, what, it, what it could have been. Well, in my mind, like I said before, Native Americans, like the, the real, real Native Americans. I'm saying a lot of people will say I got some Cherokee in me, or, and other people will be like, oh, I'm, I'm this and that Native American. You can see like a certain look of Native American. But I think that there was a group of real Native Americans in the past that were like red-skinned and... Hmm. They were unique. Even like the Mexicans, you can kind of see it uh, in certain areas. Certain Mexicans, you can still see like that very authentic native look. The, the original people that were over here, you know, and, and you don't really see that in some people. You know what I mean? Like there was there was a culture over here that just existed a long time ago that got wiped out over time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like by like by other settlers, whether they be Asian people that migrated over, or or or, or um, Norwegians that that took over the tips, you know, from the Eskimos downward. However, it happened, you know, for years ago. The people, the people that were over here, there was a group of people that were different. And I think that they're very, very little anymore. Like the Eskimos still have it. You'll still see that native look in them. That's even like I'm saying, like it looks like the Mexicans. Like even certain races have it more than, than the Mexicans, I think. Like um, Peruvians tend to have it a lot. Um, like uh, Ecuadorians, typically you'll see it a lot more. I wouldn't even, like Brazil now, like Brazil, you won't see that, that native, native, native look anymore. Hmm. Brazil has more of like the, the African look, if anything. You know what I mean? That down, down in the Chilean area, they even have Asians that migrated from the Southern areas. Like it, it got all mixed well before anybody ever recorded it. Oh yeah. And like, it's, it's, and that's what I mean. Like society tries to act like they know things. And, and they don't have a clue on how it all migrated. But I'm saying that there was once like a red race. And like they're very few and far between anymore. Mm. They're mixed with a lot of people, sure. But like a, a full blown, you know, like, like Conan O'Brien, full blown Irish, whatever the Irish really came from, you know. 
super light skin and, and reddish hair. Conan O'Brien said he took a DNA test or whatever, and he's like full blown, like he's just 100 percent Irish. I don't even understand how that makes sense. Like, how far back does Ireland go? Pretty far. I mean, you, I mean, they you have Celtic, about. yeah. You get into that Celtic level. They even had like symbols or just lines and stuff in their alphabets and language. So you think, you think they were going back, you know, Stonehenge is what? And beyond that, because there's many Stonehenges that were all around that they were starting to discover. So you're looking at like 10, 7, 7, or 8, 8,000, you know, basically right after the flood. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they're so pale because during the flood they lived in caves. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Maybe, maybe somehow they were able to survive. But then that, then that ideal is that, that there was other survivors at Noah. Which I think there were. I think that's the whole thing. Is that there's lots of people that survived the flood. It's just Noah survived because God led him. Yeah, I could see that. You know what I mean? Like... I think yeah, certain I psychos like survived it out and all that, but like, you know, people figured out on things to hang and people climbed things and, and made things, but like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Cause I mean, the flood happened in my mind like 11,000 years ago. And you think like, even, I don't know, it, it, maybe it happened more in like the European area. Maybe it wasn't really even in like the whole Middle Eastern area that it happened. I mean, what, the whole planet had a flood. I mean, I guess that's realistic now when we see global warming the way it is. Yeah, the way they talk about it. I mean, it's. I, I think it's Maybe just. It's... I think it's a lot more than what they're saying it is because they they keep talking about global warming. I think, I think it's always been there. It's just that they're trying to say, oh, now we're the contributors to it, and you know we're we're at fault. And I think there's a degree to it, sure. Uh, you know, it's hard to say that it's not like, you know, that, you know, people don't have some blame to, you know, stuff. Because if you go and see other countries and you see all the smoke that, you know, is produced and stuff, it's like, whoa, that is a lot of, you know, that. <laughs> well, that we produce the same amount of smoke. We just have more like weight. But that's, I'm cutting myself off here. But that's what I mean. Like, there's certain countries in Africa. I can't even remember what it is, but that they're like top of the line on, on greenhouse now. That they're, you know, they have like filters that just filter out everything anymore, producing like more oxygen off of the smog they have anymore. And they're like burning all their own trash. And they're not like creating any emissions. Like there's ways around it. Like scientists have figured out like ways to do things. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't mean I don't even understand why we can't just like you need money to build things, but you don't like that's what I'm trying to say. Like you don't like we've gotten ourselves in this idea that we think we need money to produce what's right. Mm -hmm. It's weird. We we can never build that. Like if we do that, we devalue the dollar. And, like the rich people wouldn't wouldn't want that to like happen like this. And it's just like, what do you, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, like, I don't know, it's like you've created this like anomaly. They've created enough money to become an anomaly. Hmm. Like people should just be able to build what's good and do. I was thinking about this the other day. I watched this TikTok where this little Asian boy, he's probably Chinese salutes these soldiers as they're walking past in unison and the one soldier in the front salutes the little boy back and he does it in like very good unison and it's like in an airport and everything's pretty clean and everything and I'm just saying that it's like if we were going to do the show tonight one of the main messages I want to try to talk about is that you're never going to accomplish something by hoping somebody else is going to do it for you. You know what I mean? Like, 
If oh, you, yeah. wherever, wherever you work, just start doubling the amount of work that you do. Double it. Work twice as hard for whatever you do. And I guarantee you, if everybody does this, everywhere you go when you're not working is going to be like fucking heaven. You know what I mean? Like, everything's going to be, because everybody, you go to work to work. But that's what I mean. Everybody wants to take these shortcuts now. They want to go to work and, like, pretend like they should not have to work that hard. Or, or like, it, you know, it doesn't really matter. Or they hate their job or they hate their people. Like, I don't get it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, work is supposed to be your passion. It's, what, it's whatever your skill is to do. Oh, yeah. And you should be you should you should you should be doing it the best you can, the best you can. I mean, I work what, like. I, I think that's what people like. You know, even in a game like this that I'm playing right now, it makes sense that they never really had the. Uh, uh, well, I mean, they they put everything in the, into this. This was their life. You know, they had to go to war. It's life or death situation. They they have to make sure they're coming home. You know, they can't well, just, that's uh, the thing. As like a leader, as a leader, you know it. Like, dude, if you if you as a leader go and make a stupid call and everybody's like dead, except for a few people, you know, like you're you don't want to show your face. Mm -hmm. They all gonna look at you like you're the fucking idiot that got everybody in the town killed. Yeah, like your stupid ideas, like. You know what I mean? Like, this, it was a lot on leaders and stuff like that back in the day. To be a leader nowadays, people think, oh, you, you know, you need all... And they clown it. People clown it. You they, don't, they, clown. they don't even they don't even act like a, a leader. They, yeah, they don't take it seriously. Yeah, I hear you. I mean, that's what I'm saying. People move up on the rank and they think that that means that they have it easier finally. That they just tell the other people to do their work. And that's the exact opposite. When you move up in the ranks, you're supposed to take on more work. You're supposed to do what the other people are doing and more. And I try to, I'm, I'm really trying to stress this to these, these employees because one of them is his first job ever. And I told him, I said, you're always going to find people that are going to work less than you. If you're a good worker, you got a good work ethic. You, I said you can either try to work at their level and always be, you know, talked about. You know, everybody knows, and you can't do it because you know you, you know you can do better, and you won't get that satisfaction of working hard. You know, at the end of the day, you go home knowing what you did was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just trying to say, like, it's sad, like. Sorry, I'm just trying to find some sweatpants. All oh, this thing, well, I had two pairs of sweatpants up here. And you're telling me none of them got washed? How? How? <laughs> Where the hell are all my sweatpants then? Oh, we gotta have a talk. Oh, they're on the floor down here. Did they fall in the water? Yeah, they did. Awesome. Awesome. Fuck. <laughs> I'm almost done with this battle here. They got one of my guys. You know, they almost killed off one of my guys, but I had to pull him back because he's got a he's got a cut artery right now. He's got no his armor has fallen fall to pieces. Okay. are good, I'm still missing people. Uh... Okay, he's dead. Let's move over here. 
I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to kill this uh, knight in his armor with a dagger, if I can. But the thing is, when I work for, you know, another company, we're, we're recording, so I'm not gonna say all the company names. But when I worked for another company and I had more work and I got paid better, it was hard to work. Hmm. No matter what your time is being used, you work for a company 8, 10, 12, whatever hours, you're working, you're there, you're doing whatever they need you to do. Mm -hmm. The thing was when I worked for a company, I was getting paid more. The work, it's not that it's more physically straining, it's that there's lots of little things to remember. Lots of little things to do. Lots of things you gotta look out for that if you if you did it wrong, you could hurt somebody. You know, you, you could you could hurt yourself. Oh yeah. You could just waste thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. Like so me getting paid more makes sense. But nowadays people go to like these simple jobs, you know. And, and I have this, you know, simple job where I'm just a simple assistant manager of the retail store. And shop it, smart, like shop as smart. No, <laughs> no, but I'm saying <laughs> a lot of people. You get these employees that are like, oh, I want to, I want to have it really easy because I don't get paid that much, and that's how it should be. Like I should basically be able to go to work and have some downtime working i shouldn't have to go to work and work eight hours straight you know why should i have to do that i'm not getting paid like other people well i hate to tell you but when i was getting paid more like i said if i made a mistake i could kill someone you know what i mean like if you make a mistake here You've given somebody money or they're going to, you didn't give somebody money. You know, the worst thing you could do would be like, I didn't put a wet floor sign up, but that's why they hire assistant managers. You know what I mean? Like it wouldn't even be on you. It would be on me if I didn't put a wet floor sign up. If somebody spilled something, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean? so like it, it, it just, it's like you want, you want more money. For an easy job, but like you want the easy job, or you don't want to, you don't want to do something like challenging. Mm -hmm. I don't quite get it. Like, I mean, it doesn't you know? What I mean, it's got to be one or the other. Yeah, man, it's I, I get you with that. Like, don't get me wrong. I've worked at, I worked for one place. You know, when like I said, I was a, I was a temp agency manager, and. I mean, I got, I was getting paid a little more than I'm making now, but literally you're, you're just doing everything, the hiring, the firing, the paychecks. I mean, just everything you have to be there from open to close every day. And if you weren't, well, some, somebody's got to do it. Like, I mean, they, they expect it every day. So like, you, you can't get sick you, unless you have a backup, like you don't. You know what I mean? You don't take off. And yeah. it, it was a mess. Like, that was a mess. Like, when I did that. And, and they didn't want to pay, like, anything. They barely wanted to pay anything. It's just like, well. And plus, it was over an hour away to drive. Hmm. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. I mean, some places. Some places pay too much. Some places pay too little. That's an option. That's a possibility. But I'm saying a lot of people in life, they want to go to work at a place that doesn't pay that much because they think it should be really easy. Mm. And it's like, well, it's not going to be easy in the sense that you don't have to work. It's just going to be easy in the sense that you don't have to think much while working. Yeah. Like I... You know what I mean? Like people got that way off for some reason. They think they should be able to go to a job and not have to work for four of the hours of the eight. Like, like they pe people look for these stores that are like ready to get shut down 
Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, like, like they're happy about it. Like, oh, I barely get any customers. It's great. I just basically sit it here all day, get paid to do nothing. Like, do you not understand that that store is not going to be around much longer? Mm-hmm. Like, exactly. I don't, I don't know what you're looking for because it won't be there forever. Because if it's not producing any money, like it's not going to stay in business. Obviously not. Yeah, man. I don't understand why people seem to think that they can like do that that they can just be like bad employees i guess you know i think the fact is it comes down to that you know you know how we're i think it comes down to honor again it's like an honor system like like, we're we're we're, we're used we're used to people we're, we're used to people just saying, oh, just material, just things, just whatever, you know, and, and to some degree, yeah, I get that. But um, because it's just things and material and, you know, and, and, and it makes sense like that, there's 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 no need to um, worry about the, the the effort of your produce, you know, of your work. It's, it seems to be something like that.